<laughs> I'll just pick Sunil then. Even Sandesh is out, Sumirati. I think he did. Uh, he did okay. My my like you know a dream like in a little project that I have started with is my friend. It's it's different uh, from playing to a coach. It's different, but I think it's a natural progression uh, because I think this is the only job that or not job, but this is the only thing that you know to do. Like you know because you live for the last twenty years just playing football and try to understand, learn the game. And now, uh, just getting into the like, getting into coaching. So it's a it's a it's natural a it's a natural progression. Yeah, I'm loving it, but yeah, but I do miss playing. Of course, I I do like you know I do I do I do believe that I still can uh, play for a couple of uh, years more. That is what uh, even you know people around me like you know keep saying that. But at the same time, I think I have to make decisions between coaching and playing because I have already started like coaching. Uh, like with the uh, with the academy that I have started back home, so I think it's not fair and it's not right for me to have a two feet in two places. So I have to decide between one. So I choose uh, coaching because eventually, uh, yes, I like I said again, I, I miss playing, but uh, but coaching is something that I look forward to continue uh, doing uh, in in the future. So yeah, I have to make a decision there. Uh, not really. Uh, I don't think so. I will I will change the change the thing. But yes, I think I had mentioned you earlier also that uh, I do miss playing. I do miss uh, being part of the team. Uh, I, I do miss the dressing room. Of course, I as a coach now, I'm part of the dressing room, but it's different. Uh, being out in like you know in the training sessions, uh, doing the work together. So that's what I do miss. But uh, yeah, that's I think those 15, 20 years uh, that was amazing years. Well, uh, because you know how our head coach Richard, like, you know, because he was the uh, second instructor in the A license, and uh, I know him for last few years uh, because he's been around in football as well. And uh, you know, we're having this chat like you know, sometime during the second module where you know there might be an opportunity, uh, you know, that he's taking up in Bangalore, and uh, so that was just a chat that we had, and. Uh, so he was just asking me that would you be interested, like you know, just uh, you know, just working together. Uh, you know, it will, you know, it will be a good, interesting project in Bangalore, just with a new team. Uh, so that was a t just a chat that we had, just that we had, and we just forget about it. Uh, then, uh, yeah, then you know, uh, yeah, I have worked on a number of coaches as a player, and. Uh, so as I have said that uh, Richard was there, like you know, in the A license course as a as a, as a second instructor there, and uh, the kind of uh, information you know that he have, uh, it is is amazing, and uh, like he come from a different background again, more from a coaching education than I come from as a playing background. So that was a chat that even we had with uh, Savio Shah, who is a, who is a head instructor, uh, you know. Like I think that was I don't know that, that you know I still remember like you know when Richard just called me like you know the hey would you be interested and when I was home after the third module I was like why should I come to Bangalore that was my first question to him uh, because more than more than more than anything more than the monetary like you know it was for me I, I need to know what exactly the the project it is because I would love to work in an environment where I do believe in as well so I think we share more or less the. Uh, our okay, passions apart, but we share the the idea, the thoughts, you know, to an extent, and we both are still working together, like you know, to to understand each other, like you know, the kind of philosophy that we want to share, the kind of style of football that we want to play. Uh, that is what we've been together, and uh, like I said again, uh, he's he's well informed. He's a uh, he has he's, he's you know one of the young coaches that you know who has a bright future. That's what I do believe, and uh, that is what we we are trying to do, like you know, taking up the challenge every day. Uh, and uh, yeah, learning from each other, and definitely even uh, I'm, I'm getting to learn. Like you know, hopefully at the same time, I, I'm trying to share my like you know knowledge, my uh, share experience from, from last many as a as a football player. So I think so far, you know, things are things are okay for both of us. Uh, for me, it might be just not right to tell about how competitive it is. Because I don't know, like you know, I haven't seen uh, when I say I haven't seen like you know about the Goa League or Kolkata or even Kerala League. Uh, you know, I've heard about them, uh, but Bangalore definitely. Like when I spoke to a number of people, like you know, who are around the with the league, they said like this season the competition definitely has gone up to the you know step up to the few levels. 
which is which is very good. Like you know, even if you look back last previous season, that's what they have been. Uh, you know, that's what they told me also that you know I, when I looked to the states, I found out that even Bangalore when they won the league last season, it was like you know five ten or some fifteen points, you know, ahead of the rest of from the second team. So this season it was very competitive. Yeah, it was very competitive. And when I saw it, like uh, I think for a local league, it was it was a, it was a definitely it was a good competitive uh, league. Yes, I think the the new manager, like you know, he brought into a new system, which I think the boys are really trying to adapt to it. And uh, I think any coaches who are coming, uh, new coaches coming in, I think they should be given some time. Um, otherwise, like you know, it, it takes time, like for anyone to try to. Uh, you know, execute your plan and your philosophy. It takes time, so I think uh, we also like you know, be a little patient, give him time. In the meantime, I think it's a it's a group of boys, like very young group of boys. I think except uh, even last week when I met Sunil, uh, you know. So I think he's the only one like you know there like going strong from our generations. And I keep I told him like you know in a sense like hey man like you know, just keep going uh, because. It's crazy that uh, you know the way how you are maintaining or you know managing yourself. It's uh, it's, it's amazing, and I think the boys need, more than you need the you need to be in the national team. I think the boys need you uh, because I think it's a great great uh, opportunity and also a great learning for all the boys uh, to see you around and you know to to even learn a lot of things from you. Uh, you know the consistency that you had like you know, over the last many years uh, to be there. You know being one of the best in the country. Um, so, I think for the boys again, like I said, young, uh, you know, a lot of inexperienced boys are there, uh, new faces coming in. So, someone like uh, having, like, you know, someone like Sunil in the dressing rooms definitely, I think, definitely help. And the boys should uh, soon waste time and utilize his experience. Uh, yeah, that that is. Yeah, I think it's easy to say, like, you know, to, to have a, a role clarity that, you know, the word that you said now. But the thing is again comes down to um, comes down to the manager uh, for any particular uh, manager like you know for for the teams uh, because eventually I think every coach what they look is like okay who are my best available you know players who he thinks that for that particular game uh, you know help the team win so now I think uh, because of the rules that you know that number of like you know the foreigners in the team, uh, it, at times it find it hard for some of the young Indian centre back or any not just centre back for any other players. It can be midfield, it can be strikers to step up like you know to fight for his place. Uh, having someone like you know uh, who come with a bigger profile and who is fit and young or you know so so for our boys like you know they have to step up. So like you know there's a there's a again like I said. We want our boys because they are the ones, they are the future, they are the ones going to represent the country. So we want them to play when they go back to their clubs, play in their particular role and you know understand their responsibility in that particular, like I said, the, the roles. Uh, but the thing is like at times it's not that easy again. So I think uh, so it, it rather just focus not fo rather just rather not focusing on why the coaches or the managers not playing me uh, in, the, in the position that I want to play. So it is like uh, you know, can you take up the challenge and say, okay, hey coach, you know, uh, this is a position that I want to play, uh, but you think that someone is better than me. Uh, so for him, being considered to be one of the best talent in the country, so can you step in there, step up there, like, you know, keep fighting for, like I said, every ball, uh, fighting for every everything, every possible in the training and prove the, the manager wrong that I'm good enough to play here. Uh, I think that is the only way because instead of feeling uh, Disappointed, feeling of feeling, uh, you know, uh, feeling down. I think that's not gonna help your uh, plan or you know that how you want to go. So the best is like just just take up the challenge and uh, prove that like in everyone wrong. I think that will help you in in the, in the longer in the longer time. And I said again, uh, it's it's very uh, it's unfortunate that uh, even Sundays is out. Uh, and uh, again, VK, like, who has been a regular in the last couple of uh, in the last few games for India also. Uh, playing, you know, in a different uh, in different roles uh, in, with the club, uh, so it's it's really difficult, like, to really pick up like one um, one centre. Do you have any name, like, you know, that in your mind, like, who you think that been a standout, like Sumitrati? I think he did uh, he did okay. Yeah, he did yeah. He yeah. actually does well. Yeah, three five two system for mm. Habas. Yeah, and Jamshedpur or Hmm. Yeah, yes, I know him. Yeah. So yeah, but I think uh, yeah, just need to they need to 
they need to yeah they need to be given more time and uh, yeah so now when they are getting those chances uh, with uh, with those with their particular clubs they just need to yeah just just, just, just grab the just grab the opportunity like you know, try to try to cement your place there um, okay I'll just pick up from the uh, yeah it's, it's it's not easy but yeah goalkeeper I think super top four yeah because I think my when I was there in the national team I think was a no, yeah he was all was. Yeah, so he was always there. So he's, he's a goalkeeper, defenders. So how many defenders? Two. Two defenders. Um, you can put yourself Yeah. Yeah, I just put me and uh, me and Anwar. Yeah. So I think we yeah we played for quite a long time. So me and Anwar. Uh, midfielder. Uh, yeah, it was tough. Tough to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe Climax. Climax and Renity. Yeah. Striker? Uh, striker, yeah. Sunil and uh, Bai Chung Bai. This one. Either say Sunil or Bai Chung Sorry? Uh, you just have to pick one. Either Sunil or Bai Chung Bai. <laughs> I'll just pick Sunil then. Okay. Yeah. I played like more more games with him. You know, the first thing is whenever, uh, because like, you know, I'll just speak to from the family front again, because uh, I was in Imphal, uh, even though I was traveling around. And uh, now I'm in Bangalore, my wife is based in Delhi. So it's been like hopping around the cities. So whenever we try to get some time, we try to take off, uh, go for uh, some weekends, quick break, like holidays. So that's what we try to do, like on the personal front, try to spend some more time, like, you know, with the, with the family, with the parents. Uh, that is what I do. Then the other thing is uh, again, like you know, because I have this uh, this project in Manipur, like uh, the cargo uh, football training center with me and my uh, other friend. Like we have started this 2018, so we have around 100 kids now. Uh, so Manipur League is going to start like launch yesterday. Manipur League is going to start. Say I, uh, we got a fixture. I think we are playing our first game on on seventh. So that's I think Saturday. Oh, eight. Yeah, Saturday we are playing our first game. So we have under 13, under 15, and under 18. So we are participating uh, in, the, in the youth league and we have grassroots. So we have like six coaches uh, working for Cargo Football Training Center. Uh, so it's something kind of my, uh, my, my, like, you know, a dream, like in a little project that I have started with my friend, uh, Karan. Uh, so that occupied me a lot. So I think it takes a lot of time out from me, like, you know, rather, you know, with, with Bangalore United. And so I literally, it's not a new, it's not a different job. It's just like a football. So every day, so, so involved, like, you know, so with the boys, uh, so that is what I have been keeping me in, you know, other than going out for dinner, other than meeting, you know, friends whenever when I can. So these are the like major things that uh, keeps me busy and occupied like all the, uh, during the day. Yeah.